r slash ask reddit what is something insignificant that you passionately hate in these unprecedented times now more than ever buy a toyota when the microwave keeps beeping even after you've opened the door to get your food out like i know it's done that's why i am opening it you don't need to keep screaming at me thanks best thing i ever googled is the mute combo for my microwave most microwaves have a hidden function like hold down button 2 to turn off the beat notification saves my sanity and hearing i need to look this up for my mom's microwave it gives four very loud shrill beeps when it's done and if you don't get the food out within a minute it does it again if you hit the cancel button it beeps four times quickly as though it just has to get in those beeps i hate that microwave that shark fin shaped spot on my windshield that my wipers can't reach you should invent a horizontal wiper that goes back and forth on a track i was thinking about ones that would move in an elliptical motion rather than the radial arc video game ads that don't show actual gameplay footage all the ones that show what looks like a fun game but is actually just another candy crush i'm looking at you homescapes that's so many mobile game ads it feels like there are three types of mobile games shitty match 3 shitty kingdom builder and shitty mmorpg people who try to get on the elevator before letting people off or onto the bus before letting people off People who stand in a 30 minute line, but wait until they get to the register to look at the menu. Mine is kind of like this. Why doesn't a drive through have two menus? I hate how I'm waiting behind another car for 5 minutes and can't see the menu. Then when I pull up and can finally see the menu they ask me what I want right away. The local jack in the box has a double menu set up in the drive through The first menu is exactly one car length in front of the actual ordering menu. It's lovely. My wife leaving the microwave on a random number instead of zeroing it out so the time displays. I don't know why it bothers me so much but it does. Microwaves should zero out after 5 minutes of non-use. This should be Biden's first executive order. A former housemate of mine used to do this back in college and it nearly led to me being late for an exam. The exam started at 10 o'clock and I was doing some last minute studying when I went to the kitchen to grab a drink. I look over to the microwave to check the time. It shows 8.16 or something thereabout so I thought I had plenty of time. I go back to studying and about an half hour later another housemate asks me why I haven't left yet. I say I got plenty of time still. Except it turns out 8.16 wasn't the clock showing. But what was left on the counter, it was actually about 9.58 by that time. Luckily you could be late up half an hour for exams at my college. Otherwise I would have flat out missed that one. When you are gonna walk trough a door and your shirt or backpack, ETC gets stuck on the handle. Or when the earphones cord gets caught as you're walking by and they get violently yanked out. Fills me with irrational rage every single time. People that pull out in front of you when no one is driving behind you and then drive 20 miles an hour this fundamentally i don't mind people pulling out in front like this but if you do ducking gun it when people inappropriately use an apostrophe in the plural form of a word sundays my manager wrote because christmas is this friday employees will be allowed to wear jeans to work on a whiteboard I couldn't stop staring at it. I didn't say anything but I discreetly erased the apostrophe when no one was looking lol. People that walk through busy pedestrian areas with zero self-awareness. You know the ones almost bumping into you as they're glued to their phones. Stopping suddenly in front of you to gaze in a window. Four people walking spread out and making others step into the street. The list goes on. Or stopping to do their stuff right in middle of the doorway. Last week the lady in front of me at the doctor's office stopped to dig in her purse directly in front of the open elevator doors. JFC. You know that little bit of soda at the bottom of the can that you can never reach? Edit. This is my absolute greatest pet peeve thank you for everyone who agrees with me. One of my biggest social pet peeves are people who refer to others by their first name when it's likely you don't know who they are. For example. A co-worker saying they ate dinner with Sam and Robert on the weekend. When you ask who Sam and Robert are, they say my brothers-in-law. Like, did you really think I know your bills by name? 
or long-winded discussions at work about two or more other people with no names or pronouns. Like, I don't know who said what when everyone is she. Putting on the brights to compensate for a dead headlight. Or people who just use the brights all the time and are inconsiderate of other drivers. Oh. And those newer headlights that are blue tinted, don't know what they are called, and are stupid bright. I have chronic migraines and that shit gives me one every damn time. I'm not 100% sure, but those might be called xenon headlights. People who are making a phone call while simultaneously making a transaction with a live human being in front of them. Yeah I'm here for my meds. Hold on one second. I know. Jake, isn't that crazy? I thought the same thing. My birth date? Okay. Just get off the damn phone. So rude. I went to pick up my meds one day and the lady in front of me was on her phone and the poor pharmacist couldn't get a word out to her. Before the lady left the pharmacist let her have it and told her she's not even supposed to help her if she's on her phone and she can't effectively do her job if the woman isn't answering her questions. I love seeing the pharmacist get harsh with the lady. She needed a big ol wake up call. People that are ahead of me in the gas station buying a shit ton of lottery tickets or scratches then they stand at the counter to scratch them off, lose, and then buy more, rinse and repeat. People who spend 10 minutes circling a half full parking lot to find a marginally closer spot to the store entrance, if they'd just picked a parking spot a bit further out they'd be in the store already instead of circling, and their incessant circling creates traffic for people trying to leave the lot or walk to their car, they just park 15 spots further away already. Groups of people who block the entire sidewalk as they walk and talk, walking suru slowly without regard for anyone else. My dad always taught me to be a person that pays attention to their surroundings. It bothers me also, when people do this, if they are a full grown adult sometimes I say something, I feel like a parent telling random people this. Leaving shopping carts randomly in the parking lot. People who talk on speakerphone or listen to music videos without headphones in public. Literally no one else wants to be subjected to your noise pollution. Stop it. When I see new neighborhoods being built with houses starting at least 650k, and they have no yard and the houses are literally 3 feet apart from each other. Commercials that have the food cannibalize each other. Just, why? The cinnamon toast crunch ads are, certainly strange. People who have every sound notification enabled on their phones, down to the fake keyboard clicking noise it makes when composing a text. When they lick their finger to turn the page, once is fine, but every page, may as well lick the book first before you finger it. Walking behind slow walkers. Trying to overtake fast walkers, you walk slightly faster than them, so to walk past them you have to walk at a comically fast speed. I think I just regurgitated a comment I've seen on Askredic before. I have an aunt who turns on her cell phone when she needs to call someone. When she is done she turns it off. No one can ever reach her. So at the end we always call her husband. It's for my convenience. Not yours. Does she say this? People when there's a clear line up at a gas station till. Bust out a massive wad of lottery tickets. And then you spend 10 minutes listening to Wahoo. Or not a winner. When you just want to get to work. I agree. But also, if they win they spend ages picking out new tickets to buy. On a related note, I hate when people park at the pump and are not getting gas. Leaving the dish scrubber in the sink with the dirty dishes. I don't want to reach my hand into the mucky water to find the thing. FFS. And if it's totally gross, I have to clean it off so I can use it to scrub the dishes. Come on. You seem pretty upset about that. Let's circle back to it later and we'll touch base on your opinions more. The fact that the word palindrome isn't a palindrome. Managers who insist on calling meetings and giving long winded instruction about some mistake or infraction one or two people committed instead of having the balls to just go talk personally to the one or two people. It will be no shocker to you. To know that studies in education have found this method of correction to be spectacularly ineffective. It's counterproductive because the people being wrongfully corrected are less likely to comply in future. Children yelling or screaming. Advertisements. Car horns. Basically everything that is inconsiderate to others or is shoved in your face. Chewing with your mouth open. 
talking with food in your mouth, especially when someone who's streaming is doing it. You've got a microphone in front of your face and you think it's cool to just loudly chew into it? People who stand and talk in the middle of the walkways and aisles at stores. Come on now Cindy and Tammy. I know you haven't seen each other in a month but find somewhere else to chat. Homie just trying to get some huitas and yaddle yeah. standing in the way. Thank you essential workers. While they continue to pay them minimum wage and do nothing to show them they care. People who leave their dirty dishes in a communal sink. Meaning other people can't use the sink. The Romeo and Juliet trope. Anytime two drivers block the road so they can have a conversation, then get upset when you are just sitting there waiting. Like bruh, move the duck out of the way. People who make more noise than is required, as in slamming a car door shut when you just need to close it, slamming cabinet doors, excessive noise irritates me, although my 3 year old runs around screaming and it doesn't bother me so that's weird I guess. So maybe adults that have the capacity to be less obnoxious and choose not to be are the problem. People who don't look when crossing the street in a crosswalk. Yes, I know you have the right of way but, just for the sake of argument, let's imagine that I didn't see you step out into traffic or that my brakes choose this moment to fail. Do you really think the payout from my insurance is going to do much to comfort your next of kin? My dad gets hot in a vehicle. So instead of taking off his coat before he gets in, he leaves the coat on and drives with the windows down in the middle of winter. Drives me insane. No, I do not want the wind zipping through the cab of the car and snowflakes flying in. Please turn the heat down or take off a layer. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.